Hey everybody, uh, this is Larry from Still Dragon. And Brad from Still Dragon. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about, um, I guess, moonshine, right? Well, we're gonna talk about how to legally distill at home and spoiler alert for most of those people out there that are interested in doing this, you probably can't, but we're gonna go into some detail because it's a nuanced situation. Right, right. basically it's, it's illegal to make alcohol, uh, or I should say make spirits. At the federal level, right. you cannot distill at home. However, just like with marijuana and certain other products, different states have different rules. So you really have to check with your local authority, talk to a local lawyer, talk to a local law enforcement officer, see what you are allowed to do within the jurisdiction you live in. Yeah. Because we're not lawyers. Yeah, so a lot of people may uh, have some apprehension uh, about uh, checking on their state's status. They oftentimes would probably reckon that it'll put them on the radar. So there's always that. that. But I will also say that, you know, you have to get yourself on the radar, for example, if you do want to take it to the next level and get a permit, right? right. Because you can indeed uh, get a fuel permit, for example, so that you can produce. Uh, right. However, there's some boxes that need to be checked. For example, on the fuel side of things, you cannot distill um, in your home. You have to have an outbuilding. Right. Um, you're probably going to have to have some sort of an inventory list mm -hmm. on your fermentable materials. It will stack up against your finished product. Correct. So basically, you're going to open yourself up to um, an audit. Exactly. Basically. You know, anytime you try to do something the right way, there is going to be a reporting dynamic to it. They're trying to make sure that, yes, you've got your fuel permit, but uh, you know, you're not going out in the woods and starting a side business that Uncle Sam doesn't know about and you know, depriving them of the tax revenue. Right. So, so aside from the fuel permit, um, there's going to be, I believe, an experimental um, uh, distillation permit. That's where if you are, for example, in our scenario where we are designing equipment and we want to understand how the equipment will behave, uh, we could apply for a permit that would allow us to use alcohol to run the equipment. Uh, for distillation equipment, you have to run alcohol through the system for it to behave correctly. So that's a good exactly. example there. Yep. And then there's the full DSP. That, the right. Still the spirits plant is your full license. Again, you've got a federal license and typically a state license, so you have to check your local authorities to go up to that next level. Right, right. Okay, so once you you know figure out your strategy, figure out what you're going to do with respect to the legality of you know making spirits, um, we've got a couple of good options. Um, yeah. If you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We're actually running a special right now. So. A milk can, it's a 50 liter, a 13 gallon system. And our version of it that has a small reflux column, the condenser, everything you need to get started is actually on our website now as our complete milk can assembly. We're running a special now, if you use the coupon code COMPLETE, you'll get a discount on it as well. Right, and I will say that the, the milk can is set up, it's appointed very, very well. I mean, there's an accommodation for a heating element, um, it's got uh, fill cord accommodation, it's got uh, a dump valve accommodation, um, uh, the lid on it comes off very well so you can get your entire arm inside the thing, so it's, it's, it's very user friendly, FYI. It's not something that you have to have modified after the fact, so it's... Yep, and it comes with our crystal dragon column. So you, it's our glass column and you can actually see everything that happens on the plate. You don't have just a little sight glass there, it's a 360 degree full view of it, it just looks cool. Yeah, I mean, you can literally stand back 10 feet and, 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 and observe the column behavior and know exactly whether or not the system is, is, in, is running uh, very well. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a very cool, great learning tool, really. Exactly. So you can really see what good plate behavior looks like. You can see everything happening without you know, having to put your head really close to what may be a kind of hot sight glass. Yeah, and I'd say that that Crystal Dragon, that little Crystal Dragon, the production speed is probably in the area of about 1.3 to maybe 1.7 liters an hour. Mm -hmm. So, and again, that in, depends entirely upon, you know, the operator. Well, but, how much heat you throw at it versus yeah. how much reflux you're forcing. And that's a completely different video and a couple of blog posts, right. actually. Yeah. Right, right. But so there is a range there. So, we, it, so it's got a very good operating range. Yeah. So, well, thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below and let us know if you have any specific questions about what's going on. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you all. Appreciate it.